In this series, Debriefed, I go over key takeaways from the designer bags I own in five minutes or less in order to help you make more informed purchasing decisions. In this episode, let's debrief the Hermes Halson 31. Hermes first introduced the Halson in 2014, I believe, and the design of the bag is, surprise, surprise, inspired by Hermes' equestrian heritage, with stirrup-like handles and a horse bridle-like buckle detailing. I mean, I think I also read somewhere that the name Halson is based on a type of horse coat color, um, but I don't know for sure. So a little backstory about mine. I bought mine pre-loved from a luxury consignment store while on vacation in Singapore, and I think I paid about 3,400 US dollars. Last I checked on the US Hermes website, I think these are priced at a little over $6,000. Although like all Hermes products, the prices may vary depending on the exact leather of the bag. But this is a great segue to my first takeaway. You can usually find Halsons for under retail price pre-loved. Both the Real Real and Fashion File have a handful of Halsons at the moment in very good or excellent condition. As you can see, all of them are well below the retail price. Now, on par with the mini bag trend, it's less likely that the Halson 25, so the smaller size, will be under retail price. But I'm going to tell you why you should go for the 31 NYX. But in the meantime, just keep in mind, this is a fantastic bag to buy pre-loved without having to pay over retail and without having to compromise on the condition of the bag. So the Halson is definitely one of Hermes's best kept bag secrets. I honestly don't know why it doesn't get more love because it is one of their most versatile and user-friendly bags. I mean, I do love my other Hermes bags. For instance, I do have a Picotin 18 in Noir, and if you're familiar with the Picotin, it is a top handle type bag, and there's absolutely no security to it because it's just one open giant gaping hole on the top. I also have a Her bag, and this does offer a little bit more versatility thanks to both a top handle as well as a shoulder strap. We have a very secure internal compartment as well as a little zipper pouch at the back. However, it is so secure that it's even going to be a pain for you to get in and out of. Now, I also have the Evelyn PM in gold. And while this comparison isn't exactly fair, since I did purchase a separate strap on Etsy to make it more usable for my personal preference. But with the original canvas strap, it is a super casual looking bag with a slouchier feel, even with an insert. Now let's take a look at the Halton. We have four outer slip pockets. We have two in the back and two in the front. And you have one giant slip pocket on the inside. And so you have plenty of pockets for organization. Now let's look at the different ways you can also wear the Halton. You can hang on to it by the handles and you'll have a vertical tote bag. You can fold it over and you'd have a clutch. I think wearing it as a clutch for the 25 size makes a lot more sense than for the 31, but you could wear it as a clutch. Also, you can technically secure these handles with the buckle detailing here for added security, but there's really no need because the design of it is pretty secure and easy to access at the same time. My favorite aspect has got to be the shoulder strap and the fact that there are four little notches, so two on either side, so you can actually adjust the length of the straps. And let me see if I can show you what the inside looks like in terms of how the straps are attached. See, it looks like a very traditional belt buckle on both sides on the inside. So you can adjust the length of the strap, so you can either wear it as a short shoulder bag, a medium shoulder bag, or even a long crossbody bag. I mean, I can't think of another Hermes bag off the top of my head that has this level of versatility. Compared to the Evelyn 29 PM and the Herbag 31, the Halton is approximately the same size, but it feels a lot smaller and more maneuverable, and it's less bulky. So I'm 5'3", and the Halton just looks so natural on my frame, and don't get me started started on what fits. Let's just say everything fits. Now one caveat, the one I have is in a softer Clemence leather and you can see from the side that it does lean a little. Just based on how the straps are attached to the bag, I mean being strung through both flaps, and the fact that my preference is to wear it as a short shoulder strap, so I'm partly responsible for causing this lean to happen. I mean, the insert does help to prevent it from leaning further and to help keep it shape when I really do try to load her up. 
So if you're personally looking for a more under the radar type Hermes bag that is both functional and available pre-loved for under retail, I would highly recommend you give the Halston a go and don't shy away from the 31 either. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell and I'll see you at our next debriefing.